Hello viewers, my name is Walter and I'm speaking from Beckwall Property Management in Ghana. If today is your first time of watching my video, I will plead with you that you subscribe to my channel so that anytime I release new videos, you can be able to have access to them, watch them and learn from them. Today, I am here to address some few issues concerning purchasing land in Ghana and I'm here to speak to four categories of people. The first are the people who are yet or who want to buy land in Ghana. The second are the people who already bought the land in Ghana, but during the process they were scammed or are facing litigation on their land. The third are the people who lost the desire to buy land in Ghana. And the fourth are the people who want us to help them to acquire genuine lands in Ghana. To the people who want to buy land in Ghana, there are genuine procedures that when you follow, you'll be able to acquire genuine lands in Ghana. When you find a land in Ghana and you want to buy, do not trust any information given to you about the land. Do not look at the land that it is at a strategic position or it is at the center of the city or where it's located you can when you do any investment in it you'll be able to fetch much income no instead do your due diligence about the land the first thing you're supposed to do is to get a surveyor a trusted licensed surveyor get that surveyor take the surveyor to the site or the land or the portion are located to you and let the surveyor pick the land and use that information to run a search on the land. When the surveyor runs the search with that information, he will be able to tell you whether the land is genuine or not. If he confirmed that, per the information he gathered from the ground, confirmed at the land's commission that the land is genuine or it belongs to the person who is selling it to you, that doesn't end the search or the investigation. You will now have to go back to the seller and have an agreement with the seller because the seller will by all means ask you to do some down payment or some payment which he or she will use to process the document for you so you have to have a written agreement between you and the seller that when you make any commitment in the purchase of the land and later anything happens to the land or litigation arises you will hold the seller responsible if that agreement is signed by both of you then you will seek permission from the seller that you want to start something on the land so what you will do is to just pay for the document processing and processing a document or making a document on the land does not cost much so when you do that commitment after the agreement form is signed by both of you then you go on the ground and start something on the land Sometimes the information gathered from the Lands Commission is not enough because the information that the Lands Commission is having is the information that the family or the seller has given to them. But most of the litigation informations are not sent there for them to be recorded. So until you get on the grounds before other ones who arise. So when you go to the land and start something, if really the land is genuine, no one will come and disturb you. But if there's any litigation, you see people coming to harass you on the land or to give information about the land that the land belongs to them or it is not for the one who is selling it to you. Then there you take your caution and then leave the land and come back to the seller. If possible, take the seller to court or both of you will talk one on one and then the seller will find your money to you based on the agreement you put had. Now, to those who already bought the land and they were scammed or they are facing litigation on their land, one advice I will give to you is uh, it is not your fault because you, you never have an idea of how to go through the processes, the genuine processes to be able to acquire land in Ghana. And the people who were leading you to couldn't lead you to the right direction. And those who are selling the land to you to are desperate people who does not have conscience to know that you have suffered you have worked hard your heart and money is what is safe to come and buy that land and for that matter they <coughs> treat you or deal with you anyhow or just come do you take your money and then they feel comfortable dragging you here and there today come tomorrow come let's go here tossing up and down because they knew that the land is not for them or is full of litigation one thing i will let you know today <coughs> excuse me 
when you find a land in Ghana and already bought it and you are facing litigation when you go on the land and litigation comes please do not try to argue instead try to listen to what the people are telling you about the land that is the reason why the litigation is there when you gather that information come back to the seller and let the seller know that this is what the people told you and ask the seller to prove to you or prove them wrong that what they are telling you is wrong if he can't defend himself then it means what the people are saying is true then don't go back to the land again instead the agreement you have with the seller you follow that agreement or use that agreement form if you don't make any agreement with the seller then it means it's going to be difficult for you to either receive your money back or get your land back sometimes Maybe where you prefer buying, they may not give you that place. They'll move you to another place and then give you somewhere you don't even like. By the end of the day, you don't have any option. It's either you take it or you lose your money. So people just take it and at the end, they can't even use the land. So I will give you the best advice that when you're facing litigation, please do not fight. Because I've seen a lot of people lost their life because of litigation on land. So when you get there and any litigation pop up, leave the land. Don't even go back there again. Instead, you go and meet the seller one-on-one -on -one and try to solve issue with the seller. If things couldn't or could not work out well, you can go back and then take the seller to court. But you must know that even with our legal system, it's not trusted. You can't trust the system. So the best thing for you to do is either you let go and then find another one which is the new to have your life back but what will be the benefit if you should fight over the land because you feel invested in it lost your life and there's nothing else you can do to gain your life back it doesn't make sense so the best thing you're supposed to do is to move on just let it go Next time when you are going for another one, you take caution. You follow some genuine processes to be able to acquire genuine ones. Now, my other advice to you is when you want to buy land, do not look at the land that it is in a nice area, developed area. No. Look for the land that you can be able to work on it peacefully. Even if it's at the outskirts of the town or the city, just look for such land. Build on it. Every place started developing until it is developed. So even if you get far away to buy, the development will always meet you. People will still buy and the place will be developed. So even if you are sent to a bush somewhere, no one is living there. Just have it in mind that as far as it is for sale, people will still come and buy and that place will become a town. Now, to those who lost the desire to buy land in ghana one thing i'll tell you is do not lose the desire to buy land in ghana instead gather the courage to look for genuine lands to buy land in ghana does not depreciate if you want to invest into land in uh, real estate in ghana or you want to invest into building and renting i told you you will make a lot of income in ghana because Every blessed the people are renting. A lot of people you see today world in Ghana are the people who made the property. The people who made the property and they rent it out or they sell it out. They are making a lot of money. So if you want to invest into real estate business in Ghana, you are free to come. If you come to Ghana, the best thing supposed to do is to look for the right people. The people that can lead you to acquire genuine land. Those are the people you should look for. And when you follow the genuine processes, then you should be able to get a genuine land. It is not all land in Ghana that is full of litigation because there are some lands that you will get, you have peace of mind to build. If litigations are on all the lands in Ghana, I don't think anybody will build in Ghana or there will be a country like Ghana. So please take your time and try to get a genuine land. When you get a genuine land, you have peace of mind to be able to work. Do not lose the courage, like I said. Come and invest in 
real estate business in Ghana. If you want to build for yourself too, so that when you retire, you'll come and live in it, it's good. A lot of people from outside come down after they retire. The properties or the apartment they build, they rent it out. And because they are no more working, they rely on that to be able to survive, even take care of their kids and also their family. In Ghana, every day people are renting, like I said. So there's no way you build an apartment and to be left there without being rented. People will miss rent. You get your income back. You understand? So if you want to invest, please do. Try. Try to get the best option. The genuine lens that can help you to invest and you not lose. That is my advice to those who lost the courage. Now, to those who want us to help them to acquire genuine lands in Ghana, you are free to contact us. We are helping a lot of people to acquire genuine lands in Ghana. Most of them are from Canada, US, Jamaica. Some are even from uh, United Kingdom. A whole lot of people we've helped so far. I wish they were here to testify to you. Some have not even come for their documents yet. Some to send their family members to come for the document. Some to scan the document we sent to them. And they have the scan copy. Whilst we also have the, um, the, the hard copy with us here. So anytime they come down, they come for their documents. Some to contract us to build for them. And we are in the process of what? Building for them. So the moment they come down, they just move into their building. We just want you to trust us. And then let us help you to go through the due processes to be able to acquire the genuine lands so that you don't lost your long time hard earned money that you invested into the lands. Now, if you ha already have the land and you want us to investigate it for you, we will do that for you. But normally we charge whenever you want us to investigate the land for you. Because when we go, you know, we have to drive all the way to where the land is and aside that when you go on the land there are people who already bought the land so when you get there you have to speak with them some of them will not open up to tell you anything about the land but you have to find ways of convincing them to give you information you needed on the land so normally when we go we have to do something to make them to be moved to give us the information we needed on the grounds so we normally charge whenever we want to investigate a land for you. Now, aside that, we build for people. We build for people. People are in foreign countries right now. We are building for them. Anytime we, 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 we reach a stage, we take pictures, we send to them. Some have even moved into their building now and they are enjoying it. Some didn't trust us at the beginning. But after we've submitted everything to them, the documents, the keys to their houses, they were so surprised. They were even overwhelmed because the cause of the litigations and scammed, they thought we may scam them. But I told you, even though we might have bad people in Ghana who are scamming, but we still have good ones. You just have to trust the person. And when the person is going through the due process, you will have that confidence to go further. But if the person is not going through the due process, that is when you have to take caution and withdraw. So if you want us to build for you, we will build for you. And one thing I want you to know is we are working together with Yoyi Properties. Yoyi Properties is one of the real estate companies that is very trusting. A lot of people are also working with them as we also work with a lot of people as well. So now we have become a team and we have taken it upon ourselves that we want to help individuals that want to acquire genuine lands in Ghana and also have peaceful mind to work on their lands or those who want to build in Ghana, we help them to build for them whilst they are away so that you not send your money to a family member and then do spend the money without giving you what you want. We are working together with them and we believe in the teamwork that we together can be able to do something extraordinary to be able to solve some of the issues of litigations and also scam in Ghana. So if you want us to help you in any way, just comment. And if you want us to make any video on any subject, just put down your comments. Uh, if you want us to help you to acquire genuine lands in Ghana or to build for you too, just put your comments and demand for our contact. We'll give it to you. 
that will speak to you one on one, will help you, will tell you the procedures to follow. And uh, if there is any estimate you're supposed to give to you too, we'll give to you. And at the end of the day, you will feel reluctant. You feel so okay when we com communicate with you. And then you can be convinced enough to go forward and then contract us to work for you or to work with you. One thing I'll say finally is to all those who want to buy land in Ghana, please, do not look for a land that is having an attractive um, view or that is in the center of the city. There are a lot of lands that are at the outskirts of the city or in the outskirts of um, Accra. You can get other land somewhere whereby there's no litigation. It is best for you to work on the land with peaceful mind rather than to be working on the land and land gas and other people are chasing you here and there. People lost their lives. So please, do not be a victim. Do not be a victim. If you are alive, you can get another one. So if there's any litigation, let it go. And rather take caution the next time you want to go for another. Please, that is my advice to you. If you like our channel, please subscribe. Subscribe to our channel. We will give you more videos of this sort. It will help you to be able to take caution whenever you are taking a step in buying any property in Ghana. Thank you very much and I love you all.